I, I, I don't actually think humans are, are anywhere near uh, the uh, uh, op optimal intelligence bound, if there is such a thing. Uh, so I think for humans or in general? In general. I think it's, it's quite likely, you know, that there is an, a hard uh, limit to how intelligent uh, any system can be. But at the same time, I don't think humans are anywhere near that limit. Yeah, last time I think we talked, I think you had this idea that uh, we're only as intelligent as the problems we face. Sort of, uh, yes, intelligence. We are often bounded by the problems. So, in a way, yes, we are. We are bounded by our, our environments, and we are bounded by the problems we try to solve. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of Neuralink and uh, outsourcing some of the brain power, like uh, brain computer interfaces? Do you think we can expand? our uh, augment our intelligence i am fairly skeptical uh, of uh, neural interfaces because they are trying to fix one specific bottleneck in in human machine cognition which is the bandwidth bottleneck input and output of information uh, in the brain and my perception of the problem is that Bandwidth is not at this time a bottleneck at all, uh, meaning that we already have sensors that enable us to to take in far more information than what we can actually process. Well, to push back on that a little bit, uh, to sort of play devil's advocate a little bit, is if you look at the internet, Wikipedia, let's say Wikipedia, I would say that humans, after the advent of Wikipedia, are much more intelligent. Yes, than... I, I think that's a good one, but that, that's also not about, that's about um, externalizing uh, our intelligence via uh, uh, information processing systems, the external information processing systems, which is very different from uh, brain-computer interfaces. Right, but the question is whether if we have direct access, if our brain has direct access to Wikipedia without Your brain having... already has direct access to Wikipedia. It's, it's on your phone. And you have your hands and your eyes and your ears and so on uh, to access that information. And the speed at which you can access it... Is bottlenecked by the cognition. I think it's already close, fairly close to optimal, which is why speed reading, for instance, does not work. Yeah. The faster you read, the less you understand. But maybe it's because it uses the eyes. So maybe... Um, so I don't believe so. I think you know the brain is very slow. Um, it uh, typically operates, you know, at the, the fastest things that happen in the brain are at the level of fifty milliseconds. Uh, forming a conscious thought can potentially take entire seconds, right? And you can already read pretty fast. So I think the speed at which you can uh, uh, take information in, and even the speed at which you can add with information, can only be very incrementally improved. Maybe this I think that mind. if you're a very, very fast typer, if you're a very trained typer, the speed at which you can express your thoughts is already the speed uh, at which you can form your thoughts. Right, so that's kind of an idea that, 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 that there are fundamental bottlenecks to the human mind, but it, it's possible that the, everything we have in the human mind is just to be able to survive in the environment. And there's a lot more to expand, maybe, you know, you said this, the speed of the thought. So yeah. I, I think uh, augmenting human intelligence is a very valid and very powerful avenue, right? And that's what computers are about. In fact, that's what, you know, all of culture and civilization is about. They are, uh, culture is uh, uh, externalized cognition and we rely on culture to think constantly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's another way, yeah. That's... Not, not, just, not just computers, not just phones and the internet, I mean, all of culture, like language, for instance, is a form of external recognition. Books are obviously uh, external recognition. Yeah, that's a great. And, point. and you 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 can scale uh, that external recognition, you know, far beyond the capability of the human brain. And you could see, you know, civiliz civilization itself is um, it has capabilities that are far beyond any individual brain, and we'll keep scaling it because it's not rebound really by individual brains. It's a different kind of system. Yeah, and and that system includes non-human 
non-humans. First of all, it includes all the other biological systems, which are probably contributing to the overall intelligence of the organism. And then yeah, now computers I mean, are part of it. Non non-human systems are probably not contributing much, but AIs are definitely contributing to that. Like Google Search, for instance, is a big part of it. Yeah. Yeah. A huge part. A part that we can't probably introspect. Like how the world has changed in the past 20 years, it's probably very difficult for us to be able to understand until, of course, whoever created the simulation we're in is probably me doing metrics, measuring the progress. Was, there was probably a big spike in performance. Uh, they're enjoying, they're enjoying this.